Let's go ahead and lock in. The Fire Emblem characters are present. Sakurai's somewhere smiling. So I put 12 of these motherfuckers in the game for a reason. I, 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 I love matchups like this. Like, I do too. I, I love the sword character so much. Cola and Chad are two of my favorite players. I mean, it's like it's like freaking Christmas, man. This, <laughs> this winter semis is like Christmas for me. So let's go. Roy and Corrin. You know, obviously, it's kind of, it's it's awesome, too, because I really feel like, you know, yep. Cola really pushed the meta for this character, Roy. And Shattuck, of course, doing the exact same thing with Corrin. Yep, yep. Really a lot of Corrin's kind of coming out the woodwork between him and Naos. Great performances and, my goodness, control right now all on the side of Shattuck. And oh, the limitations goodness. of Roy being able to recover right there, being completely exploited as that yeah. back air going to clear out that first Dr. Cola to just 30 seconds into this first game, setting the pace early. It doesn't help either that, you know, a lot of what – you know, Cole is so great at is a lot of what Roy is going to struggle in finding here in this match. But I have to figure out a way to break that physical zone in between the swings that Corrin has. And she's not like the other problem characters. Her forward air, a lot safer, being like minus four or something crazy. She can swing pretty safe and just really keep you out of that distance. As you can see right now, Cole is still holding four, being just relentless on these platforms. I'm trying to extend these combos, but safely. I'm going for my frame five jab. Good temperature checker. Neutral special. What's up, bro? All right, man. Cola got to find a way to kind of cool down Shattuck. And that's the thing about Shattuck. When he gets going, it is it is a very hard to put out this man's flame as he has shown time and time again. Cola's going to chuck him up there. Maybe looking for up there. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Back hey. here, not going to get the uh, the sweet spot. Positional advantage. So right now in the corner, we've seen Cola kind of come alive in situations like this, using Roy's good footwork to run out, turn around, F tilt. You roll it in improperly, you're done. Of course, Shattuck not giving it to him, but giving him that, though. Don't ever jump up here, bro. Yeah, I think. Cole understand it too. Got to be, you know, pretty disciplined when it comes to if you're deciding if you want to go off stage and kind of go for an edge guard against Shattuck as well. Kind of picking his spots right here. This is a good opportunity for him where he can really dominate. Is it's on that stage? It's putting on that pressure. Goes for a dare. No one home, but the pin out of disadvantage. Going to keep Shattuck in the lead. Crazy stuff. That's right. Shattuck just again not letting go of that. I mean, you start to let characters like Roy and Crom really equalize the percents and stocks. It's a bad thing brewing. Smart on Shaq to try to firmly grasp this lead and not hold on to it. Love that. Falling up air, taking full advantage here of these platforms, Ooh. but not before you take this back air here from Cola. Smooth uh, stuff. That was super sick. Cola keeping it incredibly close despite a rocky start. This could be big. Needs to find his footing, though. 74. Roy can make this up in the blink of an eye. Ooh. And there's the opening he needs. 24%. Mm -hmm. Okay. Smell double edge dance here coming soon. Love that. Standing jab. Okay. Of course, Korn, great character. Out of shield options, a little slow. So he's going to struggle right now dealing with that jab. Just jumped out of the way. Can't, back air. Can't help but wonder what could have been if Cola ran up there and went for a grab rather than that jab, right? Yeah. Tried to go for that jab to set him up for a back air. But, you know, you go for the grab, you're still able to keep uh, stage control. You know, just forward, throw him off. But mm -hmm. sometimes the greed gets the better of us. But a good run Cola found at the end, showing he can definitely keep pace with Shattuck. Mm -hmm. Now let's see if we can do it from not having to play from behind. I'm really glad you brought that up, too. I think the Fire Emblem characters are great characters in their own right, but some of their options are pretty linear just given their character sure. design. And I think to go for something as risky as just run up and going for a throw kind of feels risky on paper, but you aren't expecting that. Mm. My approach options are linear. I got to mix it up a little bit. So for a throw may have actually really been a good option there. Curious. Let's see if they can maybe apply it here in this next game. All right. Game number two. And it is this time it is going to be Cola mm -hmm. setting the – Pace early, a little bit of a temperature check. Let's see. Okay. Standing jab, nice, nice. Yeah. reverse back here. Again, just a lot of these tried and true Roy combos, not going for anything out of his wheelhouse, just going for what works best and what's more importantly safe versus a character like Corrin. Shattuck is the safety king. He knows how to throw forward or just safe enough to where you just can't punish it in there as well, too. Up air, don't get me started on how safe that move is. He's oh, looking good. I love that. Kind of trapping him right there. Puts the pressure on with the fair, but understanding the up air is going to do the real damage. And that oh, is a oh. crazy lead he has got. Let's see how long we can hold this. Uh huh. Okay, we know sometimes I get so caught up in talking about how well Corrin spaces, I forget how good her low percent conversions are. Down tilt into up, up tilt. That's something that she's retained from Smash 4. You give her those low percent options, the Kung Fu is here. Okay, ain't saying nice. nothing but facts on that one, Rod. Okay, Air Dot's going to make it back. Nice, I like that. Put some distance between them. Don't be afraid to play the center of that stage, Cola. He's got the lead right now. He's got to come to you. Mm -hmm. He reversed on that uh, first swing of double S dancers, really trying to increase their mobility on the way back down. Got to keep it ambiguous. Can't let Shattuck know where I'm landing because Shattuck's going to make me pay for it. And he's cooking up something here and fast. Okay. 
Nice goes for the pin, just in case he decides to jump. Just trying to play a couple steps yep. ahead right here of, the, of his opponent. I think one of Shattuck's best attributes is he is really good at just putting fear in your opponents, right? Yeah. And Cola, to his credit, striking back right here, showing, no, I am quite fearless when I need to be. Going to get that KO regardless, but the lead still on the side of Cola. Mm -hmm. How far can we take this? Does Shattuck have a comeback in him? Oh, it could start. Oh, that was beautiful. I like that exchange, especially off the parry. Trying to trap him right there. A couple jabs on the shield. No. Hey, really trying to cook to something up here. Yeah. Nice. That's that turnaround F tilt. You know, I kind of talked about that coming into the match and how just important it is for, you know, me to try to play a couple steps ahead of my opponent, try to go for a running tilt, or if not the running tilt, catching them as they're rolling off the ledge with that option. You roll right into my body. You know where my sword gets busy, and it's right at, at the base, so... When it's, time, right here when it's time to boost, when it's time to get that KO, you got to be on the money. All right. Air dodge, yeah. Nair. Okay. Gave up a couple. Of, nice. Not going to catch anything. Cola whiffing on that grab, but the up airs. Going to get the trade on the third one. Oh, my Big God. Set up. Yeah, that, I, I had a feeling that was going to be death. Mm -hmm. All I had to do was kind of wait for the air dodge. Forced it out with the up air, though. So similar how Cola gave himself a chance in that first game. That is where Shattuck finds himself in game number two, a battle of the sorties with a chance to have themselves on even footing that's one right. apiece. If Cola can seal it out, Ooh. I think that might be enough. Yes. Absolutely. The, that side B ain't nothing to play with. No. I don't know who designed that, but they, they had no regrets. No, absolutely not. They said, look, Roy is back. And we want the people to know. Double-edged dance right there is a dance we have all tangled with with Roy. One too many times. Shattuck, of course, no exception. Cola looking good right here. That's how you answer back from a pretty rocky game. Number one, you know, still brought it back, but it felt like Shattuck was still in firm control. The spacing tools that Shattuck has with Korn, sometimes they just feel unparalleled in a lot of ways. A yeah. sortie that can swing that good, that quickly, that safe. You got that frame five down to, I mean, it's everything you need, he got it. But now it's Cola's time, bro. There it is, in abundance at that. Cola doing a good job, not falling behind two games. Keeping things very, very even. And, guys, I hope you guys are enjoying this Winter's Finals lit as hell between Cola and Shattuck. Okay. Here we go. Game number three is here. I mean, if there's ever any of these sets that we've commentated here for this top eight to go to game five, it's definitely this one that I want the most. These two right here, very poised, very evenly matched. Um, you know, two different arcs, I think, that they're on right now in Ultimate, but right now the narrative that they're painting right now is something even better. All right, let us begin game number three. Number Trace. Okay. There we go. Who's going to draw blood first is the real question. Okay. Staying in that. I can do that. I'm corn. I could just stay in the middle of the stage and just swing forward and cover literally everything. Falling up there. Nair. Oh, the, bro, the C stick is getting flicked in the air. God yeah, dang. That's the, that's the thing Shattuck absolutely knows. Like that opening eventually is going to present itself. Those long limbs of corn do her incredible justice. And now doing some incredible damage right now to Cola. 82%. Just gonna swing that pin back the opposite way. Reset a little bit. Oh. Whipping off that up B. Nobody home. Ooh. And that's a big setup. Not gonna be enough to KO, but Cola in a far from favorite oh, positioning with that timing immaculate on the part of Shattuck to slice through that first stop. I'm so glad you highlighted that in the last match. Like the importance to have that level of precision when it comes to playing corn. I think Shattuck is so great of a player that he makes it look easy. None of that stuff was easy. Not at all. To KO with corn just at a base level is not a very easy thing to do. Look at the patience there. Looking like they were trying to start something up with that down tilt. Cola said, I'm hip to your wicked ways, bro. I can't give it to you just like that, all right, bro? Damn, this is crazy, bro. You see, and this is you know, a perfect example of just how much a lead can snowball out of control when Shattuck is able to sink that pin in, pin in you extremely early. This shit is crazy. Okay. Oh. Two. Okay, that's a that's a that's a that's a, a momentum sapper. Like, all right, that's enough of that. Mm -hmm. That's enough of that. That's right. I right. gotta get some offense in this too. That's right. Can I at least get a word in, in in the narrative of this match, please? I got something to say. And unfortunately, right here, it just feels like things just kind of unraveling right now for Cola. Being left speechless right here, just in terms of putting on some percent. Ooh. Yeah, Shadi said you got a cape, but you can't fly, bro. Yeah. Sorry, man. <laughs> unfortunate comes up a little bit short on that recovery. A big deficit Cola's facing right now. Okay. Chip into it, man. Is Shattuck going to continue to just kind of be the bully of this game number three? Yeah, and approaching with a lot of these safer options, too, I think, in Roy's toolkit. It's, it's going to be very difficult to get in between and around the swings that Corrin's bringing, but once they're in, going for the right option, as easy as that is to say, is something that you certainly want. Jab into double-edge, dance in the air. 
Short hop Nair. I mean, these are just pretty tried and true Roy things that I need to do to succeed. Correct. Oh, yeah. Stop hanging out, bro. Do something. Buy something. I like this a lot, actually. This pressure from Cola uh, up until that point was going incredible. <clears throat> and there's still a lot of possibilities here in this game number three. And nothing written in stone just yet. Mm -mm. With 110 on corn, Cola's got to know that. Try to create an opening. No. Okay. It's like he whip, like he'll whiff one time and it'll just take so much damage from it, bro. Like, oh. so much is accumulated. It's crazy. And as you see right there, unfortunately, getting parried and being caught in double his dance. In the corner, definitely the spot you want to throw it in. But Shattuck, of course, is playing kind of one step ahead of what Roy is sort of looking for. Again, Roy is a strong character, but it's so telegraphed what he wants. I could just keep you at bay. Don't land it properly around me. I ain't did down smash at all, but I'm going to do it right here and make you pay for it. That down smash, another great option that you'll see Corrin elect to punish with. When you're going for that air dodge, going to the ground, that down smash, especially when it gets them that points right up in you. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. All right. Potential final game right here for Cola. I'd imagine they're going to stick with Roy. It was brought to my attention that Cloud is no longer a thing. Neither are most of their other uh, you know, side characters. Chat wanted the snake. He didn't give us the snake earlier. He said, this is top eight. This ain't the early part. I got to go with what I know best. And it's going to be that Roy. Let's see if he can get it done one more time to push it to a game number five. Yeah, it's going to take a lot right now. I mean, just, you know, just Shaddy being so locked in, especially like those frame traps in that last game, man. They did not. I mean, they accumulated so much damage, and they ended stocks. Like, Shattuck was all the way tapped in for that. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have to see what our friend Cola can do for game number four. Oh, I gotta have what, a big one. Yeah, I mean, he's in his face, man. I think that's the real, mo like, the important thing that Cola has to really maintain is timing. Again, I swing so safely, you know, with my, you know, pin that you brought up beautifully in the last match yep. quarter, everything. I mean, the precision is definitely there, but, you know, you are human. You will make a mistake, but still, you know, outside of the, how godlike your play is. And so when you can get in there, go for that jab, go for that nair. Figure it out, or hell in that case, back here. I like this, man. A little bit of a smaller stage, allowing the action to kind of flow a little bit more fluidly for Cola, which I'm sure exactly what he would prefer. He has absolutely taken off in this game. Notice that lack mm. of space really doing Shattuck in. Yeah. It's kind of in his bubble, in his comfort zone, and he does not want him there. Even if it's something as simple as just that frame five jab that Roy has, it's just like, damn, this is just a lot. I should yeah. never even have allowed it to get this crazy, this out of control. Up there, no, I'm coming through, bro. Down tilt. <laughs> oh, my wow. goodness. And both sides, just forward and through these platforms. We get it. You don't want the other side to have platforms. Show me something else, both of y'all, please. Yeah, this is this is some nasty business right now from Cola. I actually like that air dodge as opposed to the up B, but nonetheless, Static able to take off that stock. Uh-oh. Can we quell this momentum of Cola, though? He's got a lot of it. Head full of steam. He's going to try to W key his way and bully you through the remainder of this match. And you see why, Rod, easy setups like that off of that forward tilt. Going to get the job done. Yeah, and again, sometimes less is just most or certainly jab, more. Me. Yeah, standing jab is such a powerful option, as you can see. Getting jab right into double-edged dance. I mean, these are just some of those things. This, Roy is a character where... The same things I'm going to use to put on percent are mm -hmm. also going to be the same things that are going to take your stock. And the messed up part about how I'm designed is that it's going to be very hard for you to fall to any of these percent windows. Like, I just, I have this the whole match. Yeah. Cola doing his best to will himself into a fifth game. Oh. One stock away from doing just that. Let's see if Shattuck has anything to say about it. Okay. Falling up air. Trying to just put on some more percent here, but... Shattuck is cooking up something here. It's just a matter of time before one of these falling up airs or down tilts up close and personal meet the spot. Woo! Oh, my goodness. X marks the spot, but Saying. it might have to come out in game five. Wait a minute. Oh, my goodness. Caught nice. the air dodge. Four yeah. throw. I like that grab a lot. And we can get this to final stock. I don't know. Oh, my Lord. I mean, bro, I'm talking the pin was in his hair. It was. <laughs> Game that lineup you ain't asked for. Right. <laughs> Yeah, let me get a number seven, <laughs> if you don't mind. All right, F2. Oh, he hits one. Yes, we've seen Cola threaten with that there uh, plenty of times throughout this set. Finally able to hit one in a crucial game number four. Ladies and gentlemen, two apiece. We are going to game five. That's right. This is exactly what I wanted. I asked for it, and both of these two talented players delivered on all fronts. This is exactly what we came here to see. This is great. You know, this reminds me of... Um, you know, one of my favorite ultimate sets that I had the pleasure of commentating actually came from two Fire Emblem characters as well. I believe it was 
Goblin versus uh, Ryuga mm -hmm. and the, the Frostbite, you know, so many years ago. And, you know, on paper, I always thought the Fire Emblem characters going against each other, that's boring. I don't know. Nobody wants to see that. But then I've seen it done properly with two talented people. I mean, just two intelligent players playing these characters. And I was like, oh, this is how it's done. <laughs> and this is very, very pleasant to watch. Shattuck and uh, Kohler right here kind of carrying that torch. Roy, Corrin. Corrin also going through a bit of a renaissance themselves. It was a character that, you know, we kind of wrote off. And, you know, then we've seen Shattuck kind of make some, you know, waves. And we thought, okay, maybe that's just a Shattuck thing. And Leo tried the character for a little bit. And I'm like, hey, guys, if I didn't know any better, I'd say this character's still pretty damn good. Yeah, I remember when I saw Leo playing Corrin back in, you know, it was a couple of years ago. But I was just like, oh, I think it might just be a Leo thing. You know what I mean? Leo was just so unstoppable at that point in his career. But, you know, when Shattuck and Nao really started to, you know, kind of start to rise up, get some results, just really started to pay attention to the character. And you know, now you see, you know, Spargo has made, you know, Corn an official co-main as well. So, uh, as you said, man, that character renaissance for Corn has been an impressive one. Not so much so, I want to say, for Roy over these, uh, you know, last couple of years or so. But mm. definitely Cola has remained at the forefront, doing his best keep this character relevant whenever he does show up to a tournament. That's right. Big win right here against Shattuck to put himself in winner's finals would be huge. That's right. And of course, final destination, no platform. So you know what that brings. Both sides really going to struggle to land. But I can't help but to feel like it's going to be Cole that's going to struggle to land. Maybe just a little bit more than Shattuck, oh, as you can oh, see. Oh, but hey, yep. what the hell is even landing when you can't get back to the stage itself? Pin again, the precision. I am good with this tool, my boy. It seems like when it absolutely needs to hit, it does for Shattuck, man. Those are those times where he just does not let it get away from him. So now Kohler got to play a little bit of an uphill battle here on FD. No platforms. Plenty of swords, though. Plenty of swipes. Plenty of swings. And plenty of damage being accumulated by Shattuck. Starting to find his stride already. A lot of trading okay. carries. Goodness. Back into the corner again. And again, this time... Getting out of the corner a little differently than what we've seen before. Nice, the sour hit, but I like the position nonetheless. And my goodness, just nothing seeming to work right here in the corner. I mean, damn, gave him the downer, flew right through it, went for the forwarder, got the sour hit. It's like, damn, can Roy catch a break? Yeah. All okay. Right, well, caught a body on that one, the up B. That'll do it. Okay. Much needed. There we go. Finally caught one. 89% has a lot of work to make up with. Wow, it ain't going to be done bro. right there on that second stock, EE. E. Yeah, that setup was perfect from Shattuck. One stock away from having a date with Mia in the winner's finals of this tournament. But, I, you know, I don't think anybody out there is going to doubt Cola, man. It ain't over till it's over. Yeah. But Shattuck doing a heck of a job putting on a lot of pressure. That's right. Applying pressure and most importantly too, just kind of maintaining this lead too. It's very, it's very easy I think sometimes to kind of get caught up in the game that Roy wants to play because this is a character that holds forward and wants to swing big buttons. It is, yeah. It's like, oh, if he can do it, I can do it. No, it is ill-advised for you not to do that actually. That's what he wants you to do because he can outswing you. My goodness, there's the pin, false finish. Yeah. Yes, you can't air dodge twice through this. Yeah, that's a that's a perfect frame track from Shattuck and he knew it too, man. Again, you know, I said this in the first game, man, that recovery from Roy being exploitable and sometimes leaving much to be desired. But as per usual, man, anytime they face off, very...